My name is Jillian Williams. I am a proud Jamaican American, and this is my kid's story. I fell in love with soccer when I was a kid. I, you know, like many Jamaican Americans, grew up playing, and I remember just the excitement around scoring a goal and like playing on the front line, playing a striker and playing on the wing. And I just had a different feeling about it than the other sports I'd played. I'd played tennis a little bit. I'd done softball and um, I tried basketball for a little bit, but it was always just like soccer slash football for me. Like I just knew that was the sport. And then as you know, Jamaica made the 98 World Cup, you know, I started watching it a lot more with my dad. There's such an excitement. My uncles were excited, my aunts were excited. And uh, the fact that I could, I saw how it was bringing so much of our family together and so much of our community get together, it just made me fall in love with it even more. So my background is that I come from the music world. Um, I have worked with various artists in various capacities in management, a and administration, a and touring, all of the above. And I think my background in music um, has helped me connect with people from around the world in different ways. It's a really cool connectivity point in getting to know people. I think I'm naturally introverted and naturally a bit shy, so the sport and music has helped me kind of break out of my shell a little bit and, and talk to people a little bit more. What does my Jamaican heritage mean to me? It means a lot. You know, my parents came to this country, you know, to try to make something of themselves and so did my grandparents. And it's always meant a lot to me to try to do my best to make something for myself as well for all the sacrifices that they've made. The most important thing I've learned is just the attitude of Jamaicans. You really can't tell us nothing. That's a, it's a real thing. It's a real attitude of we're going to work hard. We're going to try to make something of ourselves. Um, there's a phrase that we have called Wilico but with Talawa, and it's uh, we may be small, but we're big and we're mighty and we're strong and we're not to be underestimated. And that has been an enduring force in my life, an enduring thing that I live by. When I put on the Jamaica kit, I feel very, it's almost like putting on a uniform. Like I'm about to go do something with purpose. Like I said before, one of the things that has been ingrained in me is the idea of just like, we're local, but we're Talawa. Like we're maybe a small country, but we're not to be underestimated. And I think in general, just getting in, being more comfortable in my body and being more comfortable in myself. I think football kits in general have made me more comfortable. Um, it's like I said, it's like putting on a uniform. So the Jamaica kit in particular, just kind of like, it's like, okay, like I'm about to go, you know, out into the world and represent myself as best as I can. And, um, you know, we say walk good. Walk good just means, it's just like a, a way of saying, you know, walk tall, go out with, with purpose, be safe out there. Like I said, wearing this kit, it just, it makes me, feel like I'm, I'm moving with purpose. Like I have a purpose in, in, in what I'm doing and how I'm moving. And it's always, it always feels good to feel fly. Like, when, especially when you feel like the kid is fly. Like, and it's also really dope to like meet other people who think the kid is fly, who are asking about it and, and want to kind of get in on like, what is this, what is this culture? I see of people wearing football kits now. And it's like, yeah, like come get in. It's a real thing. My name is Jillian Williams. I'm a proud Jamaican American, and this has been my kid's story with World Soccer Shop and 41 Mag. <laughs>